Okay, so this is my Blender tutorial on how to create an Earth in Blender 2.49b. This is the um, Earth here, which we aim to create something like that. Because this is the first part where we're going to set up the scene. And, um, yeah, basically, it's going to... I've got a blend file open, so we'll use that. Then you're going to delete the default cube and click add and go to icosphere. You can select add by pressing spacebar. Okay, now you're going to, I've maximized the screen and you want to go to this button here and click add multars and add one level. And then you want to go to, you're going to want to go, well, we're going to have to move this. You're going to want to go to subsurf and put that to a value of 3 on both render and the other one. There you go, I'll click set smooth over on this corner. Okay now, um just gonna do this. You wanna go to side view and go up along the side till you find a line active camera to view and you wanna select that. Okay, so find the default lighting and leave that, and then click Add, and go down to Lamp, and click Sun. And then go back to your camera, hit R, and type in 90. And then move it across, and that's your lighting system. So now we're going to go into the Materials tab, and we're going to go across the last one with the little planet and it says world and we're going to change the background color to black now if we render it we can see we've got a nice little setup here where we've got the lighting coming from that angle okay so now we're gonna create the actual well first we're going to name it so this one is the ground texture so name it ground in the tab here name both bits now duplicate this ground layer and click S1.004 as you can see we've got a um, sphere that is slightly larger than the ground sphere now take this and name it clouds okay now go select your ground sphere again and duplicate it and then click S1.004 Zero zero eight. That's a good altitude. And name this whatever you want. Really, it's the atmosphere. I name mine Atmos. Um, you can name it atmosphere, whatever. Doesn't sort of really make a difference. But now you can see we've got a third sphere to higher altitude. But go back to your ground sphere and duplicate it again. And click S one point zero twelve. And then that's the highest altitude sphere we're gonna have. So go back to the ground sphere and we can see quite clearly the other ones. We're gonna name this one the fall off. This is gonna be like the little thing that sort of actually creates the atmosphere to be sort of clear. Anyway, um we're gonna click M on the cloud and move it to the second layer and then do it appropriately for all of the things, putting them all on separate layers. You probably want to have the ground on the first, clouds on the second, atmosphere on the third, and the um, fall off in the fourth layer. So as you can see, got them all lined up nicely. Okay, go to the ground sphere on the ground layer, and go into the texture tab, and well, as you know, before you do that, you need to um, create lights for each of these layers. So, click Shift D and duplicate the lights, then move them to each layer. So otherwise, this won't work. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, we've got lights on each of them now. Now go to the Material tab and select your ground sphere and click Add New Texture and name this texture Ground. Because it's the ground texture. I'm gonna maximize the window, 
so you can see it a bit better and um, yeah so we're going to want to set the R value to 0 0.15 green value to 0 0.15 and the blue value to 0 0.25 0 0.2 you want to slide across here and go to the shaders tab up next to the ray tracing tab switch down the um, specularity and switch up this one the one below the hardness and then switch the ref down to 3 and go up here and click the minute tab and then find this um, one below and switch to about 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 mix you can test and you want to select ray tracing and ray shadows and cubic now you want to add um, a texture and in the texture tab and name it ground and then add another four textures so you have the total of five the f second is going to be known as spec or specular second is normal this one's not really necessary but it's just useful to have and this is the stencil and sorry about my typing but there's yeah stencil and then we have the knight which I spelled wrong again okay now we're going to go back to the ground and we're going to go to the map 2 tab and select spherical where it said flat we're going to do this for all of the um, textures except the stencil texture which we're going to leave as flat and we're going to go to UV and then we're going to go to the knight and select that as spherical as well so go back to the ground texture and all you need to do is click add there and um, here you need to switch off switch on the specular tab and turn off the color here you need to go to the um, there so it says NOR and select the normal displacement value to around 0 0.3 that should work then go to stencil turn off color and select no RBG negative and stencil then go to night and select um, keep the color and select emit that's all you really need you can use the ref one as well if you want it to be a bit brighter but anyway okay now you see we've got this sort of set up for our thing now go into the textures tab make all the textures images because we're not using any of the default textures that blender gives us so we want to make it realistic so we're going to go across and go to um, just basically find all the textures for the appropriate texture thing that you've created. I've I'll put links in the sidebar or box or thing below the video. There you'll be able to find them. It'll be pretty easy. Anyway, I just gonna want to select them all. There's not much I can do here. Actually, for the stencil texture, you don't have a designated texture that you'll need, but we'll come to that later. So, as you can see, you want just to deselect the stencil and knife for now, and you've got that nice thing in the preview. You can click that little circle to switch on the anti and aliasing the things. Now, go back to tile window, I'm just going to render that for you so you can see what we've got. So as you can see our thing's been applied properly and we've got the specularity only affecting the water. Got quite a nice few of the animals on there. Anyway, let's go to the clouds and um on this one and add a new texture. 
then I maximize the window again. And um, in this new texture, we're gonna um, create, make it so it's black, the material color, and then go across to the specularity, turn it down, go to minute, and put 0 0.5 about. I actually wanted to make the earth about 0 0.6, I think. I made it a bit too. I said it wrong. 0 0.6. Anyway, we'll make a texture, name it clouds. Go and spherically map it. And go into the map input tab and click ref. Double click it. It should go a sort of yellow color. And then go to add. You also want to go to no GB, no RGB, and select it white. Turn on Cupic to give it better shadow effect. Okay, now you're just going to go back into the textures tab, make an image, and select the appropriate image. Wherever you've kept your images. Just going to wait for it to load up. Go to the back of the materials tab, and you can see we've got the clouds there. going to render that so you can see what's going on on this thing. There we go. You can see we've got the clouds there. Now we're going to create the atmosphere texture so create a new texture on the third layer on your atmosphere sphere and um, set it to a black color Um, turn down the specularity and switch to minute again. And there you go, switch off the, re the ref value and s turn down the dark value again. And yeah, basically, you want to go to ramps and select color band. As you can see, this sort of thing has come along. You want to go down to this thing and select normal, where well, I selected it. And then next to the Dell button, select cardinal on that little thing. Then just change the default stuff and put it to a thing that I've got. For this, you're going to want to use um, some different blues. Um, I use my blues in. Um, I use the same blues for every one. Um, so after you've set it up like this, you're going to want to make the light blue, the closer one in, and I usually put it as about. 0 0.34 and then for the top value and then 0 0.47 and then 0 0.9 this is the light blue and that's the closest in you should get something along the lines of that and for the darker blue I use a, um, a 0 0.14 a 0 0.28 and a and then this is just a 1 so you can pull that Right across, and you get sort of well, not really dark, but just that sort of blue. And that sort of work. And you want to name this as Atmos, and um, click off all the shader buttons that you can find. So that shadow, and then just switch on cubic. Okay, so that's pretty much done for the atmosphere. It's fair. Get this and show you what we've made. We've made a um, thing like this, basically, that will be blended in later. Now, the fall off sphere, well, I just say click maximum window without selecting the right sphere. Anyway, go to the fall off sphere layer, select the right sphere, and um, you don't want to create a new texture now, you want to go to the Atmos texture here. You want to select that. And then, um, basically, you're going to click this little 2 next to the button and click single user and name it as fall off. Okay, um, then you don't want to keep the same colors. You might want to make it a bit brighter. So just change the dark value. And um, you're going to need to reposition these. Um, so take the black one at the end and turn it to 0 0.35. And then take the darker blue and to, to 0 0.1. And then click add here and then drag it 
to the very end and make it a black one. And that's basically the values for the fallout. So. And that's basically um, got your scene set up for your Blender Earth.